This is how I defeat Robert Craig, he's an all humanoid pet, part of the Murlocs, Harpies and Wolvar, or my achievement. All these fights can be a little RNG and require specific breeds of pets, so a little perseverance may be needed. I have three strategies for this battle. For the first strategy, you will need a little bad wolf, with a speed above 260, with dodge and pounce. In your second slot, a Sister of Temptation, with a speed above 280, with Shadow Shock, Curse of Doom, and Love Struck. And in your final slot, a Fiendish Imp, this one needs to have a speed of 333, with Burn and Flamethrower. Start with your Little Bad Wolf, and cast Dodge. Now simply use Pounce until Throg Trusk is defeated. Once Throg Trusk is defeated, Wumpus will enter the battle. Start with Dodge, and now use Pounce or Claw if you've taken it until your little bad wolf is defeated. Once your little bad wolf is defeated, bring in your Sister of Temptation. With your Sister of Temptation in the battle, cast Curse of Doom followed by Love Struck. and then cast Shadow Shock. Wumpus, due to being stunned, will swap off a Bailoff, who will then be hit by this. With Bailoff in the battle, cast Shadow Shock. Bailoff will use Crystal Prison and stun you. When this happens, swap out to your Fiendish Imp. With your Fiendish Imp in the battle, cast Flame Thrower. And now use Burn until Bailoff is defeated. Once Bailoff is defeated, Wumpus will re-enter the battle. Cast Flamethrower, followed by Burn, until if and when your Fiendish Imp is defeated. If and when your Fiendish Imp is defeated, your Sister of Temptation will re-enter the battle. Cast Curse of Doom. If Wumpus uses Hibernation, cast Shadow Shock. Save Love Struck for when after Wumpus' Hibernation is finished. Once Hibernation is finished, cast Love Struck, and then continue to use Shadow Shock. For the second strategy, in your first slot, you will need a Thistle Leaf Adventurer with a speed above 280, or if you don't have one of these, you can use a Dandelion Frolicker with Bite, Bark Skin, and Dazzling Dance. In your second slot, a Little Bad Wolf with a speed of around 276, with Claw, Dodge, and Howl. And in your final slot, a Dandelion Frolicker with Bite, Bark Skin, and Dazzling Dance. This one needs a speed of around 289. Start with your Thistle Leaf Adventurer, or your first dandelion frolicker, cast bark skin, and then cast bite until your bark skin drops off. When your bark skin drops off, recast it, and then continue to bite until Throg Tusk is defeated. Once Thug Tusk is defeated, Wumpus will enter the battle. Cast Dazzling Dance, and then use Bite until your pet is defeated. If you get stunned, just pass. Once your Fizzle Leaf Adventurer, or first Dandelion Frolicker is defeated, bring in your Little Bad Wolf. Due to Dazzling Dance, our Little Bad Wolf should be faster than Wumpus. Use Claw until Wumpus uses Hibernation. When Wumpus starts to hibernate, cast one claw. When hibernation has one round remaining, cast howl. Followed by dodge. And then use claw until Wumpus is defeated. This part can be a bit RNG and sometimes you won't be able to finish Wumpus off, but usually you can. Once Wumpus is defeated, Bailoff will enter the battle. Cast anything, Bailoff will use Crystal Prism and stun you. When it does, swap out your second Dandelion Frolic. With your Dandelion Frolicker in the battle, start with Dazzling Dance. Followed by Bark Skin. Now cast Bite until either Bailoff is defeated, 
or you get stunned again with Crystal Prison. If and when you get stunned again with Crystal Prison, you can just either pass or swap out your little bad wolf. If you pass, just continue to bite afterwards, refreshing Bark Skin if it drops off, and reapply Dazzling Dance if it gets to one round remaining. If you've swapped in your little bad wolf, start with Dodge and then use Claw until Bailoff is defeated. For the final strategy we will again be using a Fistle Leaf Adventurer or Dandelion Frolicker with Bite, Bark Skin and Dazzling Dance. In your second slot, a Sister of Temptation with a speed of 280 with Shadow Shock, Curse of Doom and Love Stroke. And in your final slot, another Dandelion Frolicker, again with a speed of around 289 with Bite, Bark Skin and Dazzling Dance. Start with your first Dandelion Frolicker or Fistle Leaf Adventurer and cast Bark Skin. And now use Bite until either Throg Tusk is defeated or your Bark Skin drops off. When your Bark Skin drops off, reapply it and then use Bite until Throg Tusk is defeated. Once Throg Tusk is defeated, Wumpus will enter the battle. Cast Dazzling Dance and then use Bite until your first Dandelion Frolicker or Fissile Leaf Adventurer is defeated. If you get stunned, just pass. Once defeated, bring in your Sister of Temptation. Cast Curse of Doom. Followed by Love Stroke. And then Shadow Shock. Wumpus, due to being stoned, will swap out for Bailoff, who will then be hit by this. Pass or cast another Shadow Shock, Bailoff will use Crystal Prison and stun you. Once stunned, swap out your second Dandelion Frolicker. Start with Bark Skin. Followed by Dazzling Dance. And now use Bite until Bailoff uses Crystal Prison again. Once Bailoff uses Crystal Prison and you're stunned, swap to your Sister of Temptation. Or if you wished, you could just pass and then continue to bite once the stun is over. I prefer swapping out to the Sister. Use Shadow Shock to finish off Bailoff. Once Bailoff is defeated, Wumpus will re-enter the bottle. Cast Curse of Doom, followed by Love Stroke. And then use Shadow Shock until Wumpus is defeated. If you get unlucky and your Sister of Temptation is defeated, just finish up the fight with your Dandelion Frolicker. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.